Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines, released in 2003. The good points to it, if there is any, the villain is easy on the eye. There is some really good special effects in it. The chase scene especially is absolutely brilliant. The bad points is, there's quite a lot of bad points in this film. The comedy is so dated. The likes of Arnold Schwarzenegger saying talk to the hand, putting his uh, Elton John specs on. Not the greatest to be honest, not a very good movie at all. At number five, we have Terminator Genesis, released in 2015. The reboot never really took off. It was basically just a clone of Terminator 1 and 2 put into one movie. That's it. it said this was part of the trilogy, but we only got this film. The special effects were really good in the movie, but the film just didn't work. Overall, it was a bit of a poor film. At number 4, Terminator Salvation is released in 2009. As a Terminator movie, it doesn't really work, I didn't think, but it had some cracking effects in it. And as a standalone movie, if it wasn't a Terminator movie, it would be a, a good film, I think. Christian Bale in the lead role was really good. And it's the only movie with no Arnold Schwarzenegger in it. The only bit of Arnold Schwarzenegger is a CGI copy, really. At number 3 is the latest one, released in 2019, Terminator Dark Fate. Linda Hamilton is back, playing Sarah Connor. Arne is back. The film itself, I quite enjoyed. A lot of people didn't like it, because, well, spoiler alert, John Connor gets killed, so people aren't happy about that one. At number two, we have the original Terminator, released in 1984. The effects look a bit dated to today's standards. The film itself is a classic in my book. It's where it all started. Arnold Schwarzenegger's role as the Terminator, playing the villain for a change, and Linda Hamilton playing Sarah Connor. If you haven't seen this movie, it is a must watch. And at number one is Tonator 2 Judgment Day, released in 1991. An absolute classic, one of the best sequels ever done. All are in great acting. Robert Patrick's T-1000 was absolutely brilliant. The special effects were before which time. And this is my most watched movie of all time. Absolutely belting film. I highly recommend this film, if you haven't seen it, you must go and watch this film, it's a must see movie.